Well, welcome everyone to the follow-up after show, kind of our web extra for the viewers that uh, liked what they heard from Peter Sinclair during the big show, and he's got a lot more to say when it comes to climate change and uh, what we talked about in the big show. Of course, he is a Midland-based uh, photographer specializing in energy and environment and uh, involved in a lot of think tanks and organizations on climate change and energy. So uh, one area that we did not talk about uh, in, the, in the big live show uh, had to do with uh, renewable sources in wind and solar. So what's, what's sort of the breaking news on that? Well, we are uh, at, at the center of the industry in, in many ways right here in the Saginaw Valley because we've got Hemlock Semiconductor, which is one of the largest producers of the polycrystalline silicon, which is sure. the base for solar panels. Uh, we are seeing a, a, an explosion of renewable energy being uh, developed here in the area. It's a new wind park straddling Midland County and Saginaw County. Uh, there is a uh, very large wind park now brand new in Isabella County. There are two new ones going in, uh, I think, in Gratiot County and Huron County. Uh, and solar is uh, just exploding uh, everywhere. And what, what it really gratifies me here is that uh, our rural areas have been really taken a beating over the last 30 years uh, with the loss of manufacturing jobs and uh, uh, farming being so uh, uh, erratic and, and uh, unpredictable as it always is. Uh, but when these renewable projects come in, uh, roads get funded, sheriff patrols, ambulances, schools, senior citizens, mm -hmm. uh, right on down the line. and and these uh, communities that have been kind of on their backs and sort of like uh, dependent on, on federal funds or state funds or, or you know taxpayer funds from the rest of us are now starting to be uh, uh, some of the more well-funded communities. Uh, they are getting uh, self-determination because they are now generating so much of their own uh, resources right there locally. And and that is uh, really one of the uh, one of the great advantages of distributed renewable energy, is that it distributes not just electricity but economic uh, power, uh, political power. Uh, it it sends it back to to the grassroots where we want it to be and puts people more in charge of their own communities. Uh, and in addition, it's helping keep farmers on the land. Right. And um, I know that there was a, the critics will say, well, it's an eyesore or it's noise pollution. Uh, I still think you get some of that, but I'm not hearing it as much as I did in the past. Yeah, well, I mean, I would just, I would say drive out to uh, uh, one of those country roads, say in Gratiot County or Isabella County, and get as far off the main road as you can so right. you don't get any road noise. Because if you got any road noise, you're not going to hear those wind turbines. <laughs> they get completely drowned out if a truck goes by. Right. And uh, in fact, if the wind is blowing hard enough on the corn, that's going to drown them out too. Uh, so I this whole thing about noise pollution is really right. a, a red herring. Uh, and and you know, uh, as far as I don't want to look at it, you know, there was a I had I, I talked to a. a an officer in one of the townships out in, uh, in Huron County who said he came across some historical documents of the election they had, must have been back in the 20s or 30s, to decide whether they would have electricity. And um, hmm. there was a lot of people that voted against it. Interesting. <laughs> you know? right. and, and I would imagine in part because they didn't want to look at all those those polls. They you came know? around eventually, I guess. Y right. You know, <laughs> uh, and, 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 and folks came around eventually. Sure. But uh, when I think about sort of the summary of this, this, this move, this sense of urgency to get to renewable energy of all kinds, whether it's electric, solar, wind, you name it, it it's going to be far more economically feasible, too, down the right. It's going to save us some money. Oh, totally. Yeah. Totally. It's, uh, as I've said before, it's, uh, it's actually cheaper to save the planet than it is to burn the planet. Uh, so why wouldn't we, you know? Uh, there are some very powerful people that would like to slow that process down, but uh, 
that's where that's where uh, people power and grassroots power uh, comes into play. And yeah, when people are getting their their pockets lined one way or another, you know, that kind of that kind of drives drives it, right? Sometimes it it can a lot. Yeah. So. Thanks a lot, and uh, appreciate having you on as always, and good luck. And sounds like you may get to Greenland again. And I hope so. It'll be fascinating. Always, you bet. always great to have you on. Thanks. You bet. And thanks for joining you on the after show.